said to us earlier that uh, he would here to make amends, not spotting in Melbourne, and uh, hoping to do a lot better in this bout. And listen to the ovation as the Iron Lion, George Longaniti, makes his way to the ring. This is the much-awaited debut of the younger brother of Stan Longaniti. What a sight it is to see the Iron Lion pulling off the glove for the first time here tonight at the House of South Festival Hall. Master Hammer, look at the Iron Lion in George as he hops into the ring with Master Trainer Dana Goodson. Well, Michael, uh, the similarity is uncanny. George Longaniti and Stan Longaniti. You'd have to be forgiven to uh, forgiven for uh, thinking what was the other, but. Uh, George trying to emulate the, uh, the achievements of his brother Stan. It's going to be a big ask for him. Uh, I'm sure there will be a lot of pressure on this young man. But uh, George Longanidis here making his debut against Stu Healy. It's going to be interesting to see, Michael. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of our feature attractions. It's super heavyweights in the ring at this time. Three rounds of interstate kickboxing. Would you welcome on, on my, my left, left with, with Robert Murdoch in the corner from Camden South, New South Wales, he fought here last, last May at Sunshine, scaling a massive 107.20 kilograms with a record of four bouts, two wins. It's hammer time. Steve Hyde. Steve Hyde, the Collingwood Colors, black. With whites, a cast ring in the red corner, living up to a family reputation from Vermont, South Victoria, 22 years of age, scaling 96.50 kilograms, father of the Mustard League, eight champion ship strong stable. Would you love the world's big debut at the house of Stouch, the Iron Lion? George Lovely! Three rounds of action. You're ready to accelerate the world. Take a shower. World conquering the great champion, the big man, Bruce Lee. Hello, gentlemen. Three rounds of the great cricket master. George. George Lovely. And Steve. Hi. This year's in Australia. George. Boxing the debut of the Iron Lion, George Longanides. Up against Stephen Hyle, all the way right from New South I'm Wales. Here's the stare down. You must understand my directions. I want a good, clean fight. I obey my rules at all times. You touch gloves now and come out and touch gloves on the last round. Good luck to both of you. God bless. Well, Stephen Hyle, Michael, he certainly has a uh, height and reach advantage. He's going to want to use his, uh, his front kick, followed by possibly a leg kick. George, on the other hand, is going to get in close with the overhand right, which is his brother's trademark, of course. Moments. And, uh, just he's got powerfully built legs, so uh, I'm sure he'll be no slouch when it comes to the leg kick. Round the one. That right Mark. hand of his is certainly going to uh, have a lot of power in it. Well, you've got George Long and Easy there at 96.4 kilo. Steve Hyle at 107.2. There's more beef than a cattle ranch in centre ring tonight. Front kick there by Hyle. Look at the build. On the Mastodon, George Longanides. What a machine he is. Nice leg kick there by Longanides. Swing with that lethal trademark Longanides left hook. I was going to have to use his front kick and really keep uh, Longanides away because if Longanides gets in close and, and uh, works works that leg, works the hands, I was going to be in a, in a world of, uh, of bother. It's like watching stand the man Longanides perhaps five or six years ago. That's one thing Hull doesn't want to do. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to trade leg kicks with. Um, he doesn't want to trade leg kicks with Longanides. Hyle, very tentative, showing Longanides a lot of respect so far. Nice outside leg kick to that lead leg by Longanides. He's chopping away at Hyle so far. And your third man right. is centering, Big Bruce Haynes. Well, George hasn't unloaded with any uh, punches at this stage. He's just happy to trade leg kicks. He's going to try and uh, should be trying to get in, nullify. Hiles reach and then work his hands, rip to the body, uppercut, overhand right. That, that uh, would be a good game plan for Longanides. Well, look at the look of intensity on the kisser of George Longanides. Well, well, George is going to really uh, want to make an impression on uh, Steve Hull at, at this uh, point of the fight. He's going to want to try and intimidate him a little. 
and uh, the longer it goes on, the more confident uh, the New South Wales boy will be. Longanides continues to chop away at that lead leg. Those leg kicks will make Stephen Hall wish he was someplace else. Well, Hall, he's got clubbing punches. He's got a, he's got a punch straight. Hall there One. with the high right round kick Two. to the side of the head. Just caught Longanides. He's been wobbled. Four. He he's has definitely. Okay. Right. Looking in his Six. eyes. He's in a bit of bother Seven. there. He's in a bit of bother, Eight. Michael. Look at me, Long George. Nine. Bruce Haynes applying the standing Six. count to the Iron Line, oh. and there's the end of the round. Mark the hammer, the Iron Line. The bell well, sounded. That, that round, that round going to... Uh, Steve Hiles, so uh, that's not good news for uh, Longanides because Hiles is going to come out a lot more confident in the second round. Too tentative by Longanides? Well, he's probably uh, showing him a little bit too much respect. Uh, Longanides should, take, should have taken the advantage to really charge like, charge uh, Stephen Hiles down. The rest the rest of the rather than stand there and try and take leg kicks. At the moment, the iron line is really going to be put to the test in the second round. Serious word with the corner there. Let's see how they go. We're ready to rumble in the second round of this super heavyweight contest. Time Stephen out. Heil and the Iron George. Line, George Longanides. And Dr. Peter Lewis just conferring with Longanides in the corner before the commencement of the second round. Well, the doctor's really got to make sure the fighters are okay before he recommences. Okay. And uh, he's given centre referee Bruce Haynes Fight. the word there. George doesn't want to get tagged again. Right! Longanini right. charging across right. the ring. He opens up right. like right. a house on fire. Right. Connects right. a short right hand to the head right. of Hyle. That's what he's got to do. He's right. got to, by Hyle. He's got to right. get in and just charge right. Hyle and Watch not give him any Come room. Because uh, right. that was his mistake. Right. Give right. Hyle a little bit too much room. Hide and reach advantage is very great for George Longanides. Longanides, the big left hook. He can take it back here, George Longanides. He's got to get his hand work up. He's got to stay upright, not duck his head, Michael. He's got to stay upright. He's already, he's already uh, height and reach, advantage deficit. He's right. got to be upright. Right. right. Longanides. Right. Stephen Hyle George. connecting with some front kicks so far. The height and reach advantage going the way of the New South Welshman. Right. Longanides, the leaping left hook. Right. Hyle just right. smiling at him right. at the right. moment. Longanides was rattled at the end of the first. Wanted to come on strong here in the second round. Right. The iron line. George has just got to jab straight, Michael, and follow with that big right hand. Jab in on hole, body headshot maybe, rather than always leading with the uh, with the hook. Right up, right, right, Straight punches right, right. could be the order Thank of the you. day. Longaninis, he's chopped away at that lead leg in the first round. There he goes to town again on it. Deep purple and red welts on the rear left thigh of Stephen Heil. Now in close, Longaninis, right short right hand to the side of the head. Heil right, just smiles right. at him. Right. And Bruce Haynes there to separate both men. Well, as I said, the longer this fight goes on, the more confident the New South Welshman will be, Michael. And the longer Nides is going to want to get on. Possibly uh, forget the right. left hook because right. uh, I think he's worked that one out, right. Stephen Hull. Yes. He's going to want to lead in with possibly a jab and a big right. overhand right. With that much bulk behind him, you can be sure his right hand is going to leave an impression. Longer Nides, the leg kick again. Nice high right round kick there by Stephen Heil. Longanides chopping away at the lead leg. They'll take the starch right out of the man from New South Wales. Catches that round kick on the gloves, Longanides. Just evades the right. front kick. There's the end of the second round. And Heil finishing the round strongly yet again, Heil Mark. finishing strongly. But George uh, looking a little better in at the second round. He's probably uh, getting rid of those nerves of the first round. And uh, you'd have to ask yourself how... Uh, how much pressure is on uh, this young man, George Longanides? I mean, I wouldn't want to have this much pressure on me stepping into the ring for my first fight. You know, his brother is po probably uh, the best-known kickboxer in Australia, if not uh, one of the best in the world. And uh, that is a big reputation for anyone to live up to. So therefore, you know, George is going to step into this ring and he's just going to have so much pressure on his shoulders. As broad as they are, Michael, that's going to be a hell of a lot of, uh, a hell of, a lot of uh, pressure for anyone to, to bear. Mark, Steve, what, what would Dana be saying to George in the corner at the moment? Well, they, uh, I heard Stan ringside here just say, you know, work the body, come over to the top with the right hand. You know, that's good sound advice. Because he is so much shorter, he's going to want to work, work in tight, nullify the gap and then go to work with that big ball behind you. And Steve Hiles is just getting more and more confident as, as oh, this take it goes down. on. But uh, I'm really impressed with uh, George's tenacity. You know, he come back well in the please. second round after touch being gloves. well and truly rattled in the first. Touch they touch gloves for the third and final round of action. What? Super heavyweight bout. Longanides opens up the leg kick. Hiles checked it. Went for the high front kick of the right leg. Hiles now going downstairs with a leg kick to the lead leg. 
Longinidis continues to pepper away at that front leg. Now leads in with the big left hook. The iron line, Longinidis just caught that high right round kick. High with the front kick off the lead leg, using his height advantage to good effect. Longinidis right. ties him up, tries right the short right to the side Thank of the head. Going. Bruce Haynes right better separate right. both men. Right. 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 Pyle moves in. The well, big front kick off the right leg again. Well, he's really using that front kick well, Steve Hall. He knows he's got the uh, the reach over George, and he's just right, trying to pick right, him off right with that front kick, which is very clever tactics uh, from the New right. South Wales corner. Longanides goes downstairs, that leg kick again. Hiles checking right, him so right, far in this right. round. George, watch behind Grub and John Tremendous there. support behind the iron line, George Longanides. It's great to see him in the ring. Well, George, and win or lose tonight, let's hope that he goes on with a great kickboxing career. You've got to remember too, Michael, George is fighting uh, a right, more experienced out, opponent yes. in, in Stephen Hull. He's had a few right, bouts, travelled down right, from New right, South right, Wales. Right. You know, he's Come been on, around. Right and uh, George is uh, right. doing uh, what a lot of novices don't usually do, and that is fight someone with a little more experience. So uh, it's a credit to George for doing that. Very good point indeed, Mark the Hammer. Longanides goes for that front leg yet again. Ties Hull up, right, right, right hand to the right. side of the head. Right. Plenty of instruction being yelled from the corner by Dana Goodsman. Likewise by Rob Murdoch in Hiles' corner. Well, George coming coming good now, but he's got to try and get that eight count back. Hiles is wary of that, and he's playing he's playing clever ca right. tactics, just uh, just keeping uh, Longanides away from him. But George really has to uh, right. bite the bullet and uh, throw caution to the wind somewhat and give it his all. Nice inside leaky fire Hiles, then a couple of blows to the bread basket. Right, right, right. Longanides with a short right hand to the ribs, and there's the end of the round, the third and final round, super heavyweight slug bet between the Iron Lions, George Longanides and Stephen Hyde. Well, George Longanides coming up, coming up strong, you know, second and third round, but uh, I can't help but worrying for him because of the count he uh, received in the first round. That's not going to do the scorecard any good for him, but uh, nevertheless, as I said, a good debut from him. You know, he took a knock and he come back from it. That's, uh, that's a big thing to do when you first bout in front of a capacity crowd here at uh, Festival Hall. What a big ask for this uh, young man. A very brave debut indeed by the Iron Lion, George Longanides. And let's take nothing away from Stephen Hull. Came down from New South Wales to face... Well, it's a challenge facing any man with the surname Longanides, Mark, when he's well, in the kickboxing ring. Certainly George uh, has been preparing for this bout for some time. And, uh, you know, a big ask. He's a, he's a pretty uh, heavy, heavy young man for his height. And uh, I can't, I can't uh, but wonder. In the 1970s, but now it's Triple M, Rox Melbourne. Ladies and gentlemen, well done, Carly. We have a split decision. By majority points, the winner, red the corner, George Longini. The Iron Lion. A very disappointed Steve Hyatt. George, congratulations. It must be an enormous look towards the camera, George. It must be an enormous burden. You know, stepping in here knowing that you're the younger brother of a great world champion icon of kickboxing. Has it been sort of like carrying it on broad shoulders? Oh, I answer that. Uh, I have some very special sentiments. Most important thing is that I'd like to thank you very much for the Jesus Christ. I love you very much. And I give all the glory to him. Win, lose, or draw. This is just a sport to me. It's not very important. It's something that I wanted to do for a very long time. And uh, my brother's uh, one of the best fighters there is in the world. And it definitely puts a little bit of pressure on me. But uh, I try to use that as motivation and as uh, everything in the gym to train hard. And I know. It was going to be hard, he had uh, 11 kilos on me, 7 inches of height, so really I was the underdog, no matter what the experience that I had to stand, because I was just uh, so small compared to him, but I'd like to thank him, and uh, that's all I have to say, and there's a few people that I have to thank, my brother of course, and my family who I love very much, my trainer Daniel Goodson, who uh, it's going to be a sad thing to see him leave uh, Australia and go to his uh, homeland. Who we missed, and everyone got a few choice stars. My girlfriend, who I love very much, Lizzie, she surprised me, bringing her around here from Sydney. And uh, everybody, my family in particular, my sister, who I love very much too, all my friends, and my mother, who's at home praying on her knees. And we lose a draw, it didn't matter as long as I came out of it, alright. 
and I love her for all the prayers that she's uh, given to God for me. Thank you very much.